Welcome to Entrepreneurs.ng, the number one stop center for entrepreneurs. We offer business development services, consulting services, and put out great content to help facilitate the growth of our entrepreneurs. We also have guides to help the entrepreneur decide which business to start. We have the 25 women business idea and step-by-step -step guide on how to start them. For just 5,000 naira, you get a guide containing 25 currently trendy businesses in the country. Visit our shop, grab a copy. Also subscribe to our channel so that you can have and be notified whenever we put out great content such as this. Without wasting time, let us dive right into the topic for today. We'll be talking about the block industry business. The block industry business is one of the thriving businesses in the world today. Unfortunately, only a few investors and entrepreneurs think towards that line of investment. Despite having a roof over one's head, it is one of the basic needs of man. A lot of people still don't consider this business a profitable business venture, probably because people think it's a business for the uneducated. Well, they're so wrong. Block industry business is an increasingly viable and lucrative business, especially with new inversions like interlocking and different kinds of block designs in vogue today. It's a business that thrives in urban as well as rural areas. The block industry satisfies the block needs of builders. Also, it saves builders the stress of having to buy sands, water, cement, and employing labor to build blocks. With the increasing number of building construction going on these days, block industries are never going to be too much. This is the time to give this business opportunity. A second thought, this video will show you all that you need to start a block industry business. Block making refers to the mixture of powdered cement, sand, and gravel with water in a way that produces a light gray color with fine surface texture and strength after sun dry. It began with the need to satisfy builders and save them the stress that comes with building. Block industries make high quality blocks fit for building houses such that the constructions do not easily collapse. This business sells more in the dry season than the rainy season because several builders build during the dry season. Looking at your immediate environment, you will see that people are building houses, schools, shops, religious centers, hospitals, factories, offices, and industries. This explains why the business opportunity is viable. In this video, I'll show you everything you need to get started. Number one, you have to first create a business plan. To succeed in this business, you need to take the basic steps at the initial startup stage this will help you to know the risk and likely dangers involved in the business. So it's important to research the business areas, the kind of blocks with high demand, prices, and competition. It will help you have a better understanding of the market and define the strategy to succeed. In taking this step, it is important to document the result, which will form your block industry business plan. Now, the block industry business plan should include the outline that covers executive summary, business description, product and services, market research and strategy, competitor and marketing plan, operational plan, management and structure, financial plan and projection. Also, you need to pay attention to the human resource you need effectively on your business. You also have to register your business. Once the block industry business plan has been documented, the next step is to register with CAC and other recognized authorities. During the business registration, will give you the access to loans and other opportunities tailored to entrepreneurs. You can also bid for a contract from local, state, and federal government or private companies to supply blocks and other building materials with registered businesses. If you want to take away the stress of registering the business yourself with the Corporate Affairs Commission, the Dalia is your blog, we can provide you with all the necessary information and give you legal advice on how to go about it. The next thing to put into consideration is your startup capital. Block making is capital intensive, with startup capital running into millions depending on the scale you want to start and the resources you have in place. The cost of securing land in a good location can be on the high side. Besides, you will need to get raw materials, think about it, get block making equipment and the like. You'll also need to set aside worker salary for at least two months. A local manual motor costs about 10 to 15,000 naira, while the vibrating machine goes for about 100 to 150,000 naira. You will also need to buy a listed generator and other equipment. Depending on your skill, you can buy one or two motors for a start. For capital, 
You can ask for soft loans from family and friends if you do not have enough capital to start. Also, you can use crowdfunding sites or approach financial institutions for a loan. All right, let's look at the step-by-step -step plan on how to start the block industry business. You have to acquire land. You can start a block industry by renting, leasing, or purchasing land in a new or developing site. It can be a plot or more, depending on what you can afford. This land should not be in a swampy or waterlogged area because it can affect the quality of your block. Aside from that, it can make driving in that condition very difficult for suppliers and customers. On the other hand, you can set up a small roof shed using plank or blocks depending on what you can afford. Create a store for storing cement, shovel, heavy pet pan, wheelbarrow, and other equipment. Then, create a shed where the lister and molding machine can be operated. The roof can be without walls or side coverings. It is just to protect the machine from being constantly drenched by rain or sun. Most importantly, make sure your location can be easily accessed by cars, trucks, or other means of transportation. This will ease the stress on the part of the customers and your workers. The next step is your water system. For a block making industry, you need water supply and more of it. Water will be used to mix sand and cement, mold blocks and water blocks daily until they become strong. If you do not have the natural water supply like the stream or river, think a borehole or dig a well then install tanks. Just make sure you have a guaranteed source of water at all times. Also put into consideration your equipment. Some of the equipment used in the block industry business are generator. A listed generator is usually the preferred choice for block making. It will be used to power the molding machine, borehole, mixing machine, and other power consuming equipment in case of an electricity outage. Ensure to get a durable one that is noise proof, does not constantly break down, and does not consume much diesel. You'll also need a molder. This is a machine which the block are molded from. It is also called a vibrating machine due to the kind of noise it makes while molding. The molder molds block in different sizes and shapes. It can be constructed by welders or better still purchased from a manufacturing company. You also need wood carriers. They are flat wooden planks used to carry block from the molder to the drying point, mostly under the sun, where it will be arranged in sections. It is constructed by carpenters in a handy and movable way. It's highly important in the block industry business as it enables easy carriage of blocks. You'll also need supply trucks. Depending on how you're starting, you can get trucks for delivery services. Let's not forget the concrete mixer. It is a machine used for mixing sand, cement, and water in the right proportion. What about your concrete mixer? It's a machine used for mixing sand, cement, and water in the right proportion. You also need diesel, about 25 liters to 30 liters every day, depending on how long the molding machine will be on. You can plan for about 100 liters for a week but ensure to store it in a dry place and avoid an explosion. You'll also need shovel, headband, wheelbarrows, and the lights. All right, moving on to the next step. Let's talk about the human resource. For a standard block industry business, you will need to employ the services of people, machine operators, mixers, laborers, loaders, and drivers. The machine operator handles and operates the machine. The mixer mix the cement and sand that goes into the motor while the laborers move the blocks from the molder to the drying point. You can also employ a cashier or supervisor. This is optional, of course, if you won't be able to oversee the day-to-day -day operation. You'll also need a driver who will transport the blocks to customers in different places and loaders who will take the responsibility of loading and offloading blocks at different points. In this business, laborers are usually paid daily based on the number of blocks and the types of blocks they make. Moving on to the next step, sand and cement. Sand. Cement and water are the raw materials used for block making. Start by getting a supply that can last for a week or more, so you don't become short of materials at the crucial time. For sand, three kinds are needed for block making. Sharp sand, stone dust, and ordinary mud sand. These three are then mixed with cement and water to form the solid block substance. You can speak with quarry managers on supply and negotiate the delivery time. For the cement, find out the best cement that makes a block strong and go for it. Besides, you can also venture into cement selling since it comes in handy 
with a block industry business. Let's take a quick break and talk about the 35 women business ideas, a step-by-step -step guide on how to start them. Do you know the strategic and financial breakdown of running a block industry business? Or perhaps you need to find out what businesses are currently doing well in Nigeria market and how to penetrate them, right? This guide is what you need. It covers 35 trading and lucrative businesses in Nigeria. What you get for purchasing this guide is a plug and play business idea book. Visit entrepreneurs.ng/shop to get you a copy. All right, the next step is to make blocks. Once the whole material and equipment are set, the next thing is to start making the blocks. This requires mixing a proportion of cement, sand, and the gravel with water. There is a certain number of blocks that can be made from a bag of cement, about 35 to 40, which is 9 inches, or 50 to 55, 6 inches, and 60 to 35 blocks. They are sold at different prices. Also, look for ways to scale your production daily to maximize profit. For instance, a block molding machine makes about 5,000 blocks in a day. If you have to, there will be 10,000 blocks a day. This will help you meet the demands of your customers. Let's talk about the tips on how to successfully operate. Creating a block industry in a new site or developing area close to a busy road is a wise decision. This way, your first customers will be the builders in your vicinity and you'll be sure of patronage. Your number one marketing tool in the block industry business is providing high quality blocks. This can be achieved by using quality materials for molding. Get listed on the business directories and register on social media platforms. Also, get a business card and create business relationships with construction engineers, surveyors, architectural designers, bricklayers, and other people who deal with site building. Deliver good service to your clients and pay your laborers appropriately as a great but your workers are your first customers. Block making is a profitable business area that requires following due process and backing it up with determination to succeed. Start small and grow big if you don't have any experience in the business. If you have watched up to this stage, I guess congratulations is another. With this knowledge, you can venture into the block industry business. As always, we would like to hear your thoughts in the comment section. And if you are experiencing business challenges, you need to consult us. We are a call always. Also subscribe to our channel at entrepreneurs.ng to put your business in the spotlight by telling your brand story to the world. Contact us today, get started. Amongst the links, we mentioned the 35 women business ideas and step-by-step -step guide on how to start them. It will give you a strategic and financial breakdown of the most lucrative business in Nigeria. Which one would you like to start? All you need to do is flip through this book and select the business that best suits you. In short, it would definitely be profitable. We also spoke about the ultimate legal guide to doing business. And we also told you earlier that it answers 147 legal questions and it gives you seven free templates. For just 12,500 naira, you get a guide that teaches you about your tax, it teaches you about legalities in Nigeria, it teaches you about trademarking your business and all that you need. Without having to speak to a lawyer, this guide will answer it all. Do not also forget our consultant services. Do you need to speak to a consultant? We are just a call away. Call the number displayed on your screen so that we can talk about your business. Follow us on all of our social media pages. You can follow us on LinkedIn, Instagram, and Facebook. So we'll see you next time. It's bye for now. Goodbye.